And you said it before, before Michael, it is, it's a real sense of gratitude, uh, each athlete, none of them taking for granted the fact that they get to race here. Exactly. Today's weather forecast here in Kailua, Kona, Hawaii on the Big Island. Temperature today, 88 degrees. Top temperature, Celsius-wise, 31. The road temperature is going to be 85 right now. It's going to heat up to about 120 out on the lava fields. That's 29 degrees right now. Water temperature, a beautiful 82 degrees. You could take a cake of soap out there and have a nice little bath. I, I would suggest that for you were there, Michael. 28 degrees and humidity at 74% right now. But the wind speed only 3.5 miles an hour. But guys, 18 knots right now in Harvey. It's going to kick up a little bit. Is it going to pose a problem? That right there is the weather here, but what's it like out on this iconic race course? Let's have a close look at the map through and through. Let's go on over to Dee Griesbauer and explain the swim. Our athletes will get started this morning walking down those steps we just saw into Kailua Bay, one of the most emotionally charged starts in sport. It is a very simple elongated rectangular course with just two simple right-hand turns when the athletes will then make their way back to that same set of stairs where they'll exit the bay and enter transition one. And then once out onto the Ventum bike course, it is one lap, a little mini warm-up loop in town before or you head right up the Kuakini and back down into town, the crowds will send you right out onto the historic and famous Queen Kaahmanu Highway. The Queen K, as we call, call it here for short, all the way through those lava fields, out, out, and away they go. It can be desolate, lonely, windy, and hot. And then once you get to a final turning point in Kauai High, the road trends up, up, and away towards Havi. At nearly 60 miles, you'll find yourself in a completely different climate to Mat Kalai zone and you will turn around and come right back and do the same thing again but note almost 2,200 meters of climbing that's almost 6,000 feet of vertical change back through Kauai hey, all the way up the scenic point past the airport and then you're gonna come right on in where you transition for discipline number three Unlike the bike course, the run course is relatively flat. They head out to Pahoehoe Park where they make the U-turn at three miles. Back to Palani Road, which is the hill on the run course, out to the Energy Lab, back into town on the Queen Kaumano Highway before running down the famed Ali'i Drive for the finish line of the Vega Ironman World Champion. it Greg the cannon has sounded this cannon has started this race for years getting these guys underway right now the professional men in the water and look at it the white water can tell you right now how hard these athletes are kicking churning up those uh, waters of Kailua Bay the Roka swim course we talked about it very very unique and I think the most notable point is that there are only two turns that gives you almost 1.2 exactly almost 1.2 miles before you take one turn Greg Welch here joined by get called through 100 meters across to the other side of the clue is all the way back into the courtyard by Marriott Kinkamaymaya Beach Hotel that's what they're going to be aiming for the landmark will be the East Tower as they make their way back into town 739 from Amberger Matt and here they come guys we got Josh Amberger first on looks comfortable looks composed he goes underneath uh, washes off with some fresh water Jan Fredino. Jan Fredino decides to come to the front and resurge up into the front of this course and set the pace making once morning for Dino going past the aid station and making sure that he gets his bottles super and I can't wait to see it right now Jan Fredino from Germany in front of Mark contending with the winds all at the same time and Michael just uh, Timothy O'Donnell accelerating around uh, you know Jan Fredino there he was uh, struggling with the bag and then we can see also Alistair Brownlee made a very seven degrees and climbing at 61 percent humidity. it drops in the middle of the day but in the afternoon it comes back you are looking at beautiful overhead shots of the north kahala coast of kona hawaii the big island that is the host of the vega iron man world championship for a third it just doesn't happen let's just, it's not let's easy. just see uh, what happened here as patrick langer made his way up toward Kauai high looking fine just going through this section but right there really really quickly just pulling across to the side of the road making a move um, and i just have to interrupt here we got patrick langer just pulling across to the side of the street right now this is right at the turn of Kauai high it doesn't look good for patrick langer he's lost touch with the group and now being consoled coach your significant yes. other cracks you completely you're feeling bad and it just takes you it gets you the way out that's what's happened here so the withdrawal of our defending champion has been confirmed 
courses in the world. That is the Ironman Asia Pacific Championship Cairns in 2020. Now as we go back to Sebastian Kinley, Michael looking good. Keeley is looking amazing. He's rolling through. This man won the race in 2014, and then he's also taken home those Ironman 70.3 titles, but he knows this race. He loves this race, and he goes for the win. But Sebastian Keeley, he told us about how to handle this race, how to attack it. Sebastian, what does he have to say to us? Let's take a listen. Reef, she just gets stronger and stronger as the, uh, the marathon um, goes through, and, and I think that's something that, you know, that's going to be the difference between um, her marathon time and a lot of the other marathon runners out there. Back-to-back um, -back champion Jan Fredino in 15 and 16 now making his way back into the inside of the last 10 miles here. We've got, well, 11 miles to go. He's coming up on the Kona Airport. Once he hits the International Airport, a right-hand turn into the pier, and this is it. He is going to drop that bike for his running shoes right now. Off into the change tent, and what do you got, Matt? Here he comes, he's round in the corner, he's on the mat, and he looks perfect. I mean, this is an athlete that he, it was a nightmare year for him. Laid down an incredible bike ride, and check this out, because this is a all about sportsmanship right here. You can see that Jan Fredino and Cam Worth extends the hand out to say, Man on the road running down into that section of the energy lab. This is the new section. camera every fist pump uh, and he deserves it so Jan Fredino another historic day here in Kona and look at the support that he's getting at the bottom of uh, Palani Hill right now the Hoka One One Arch just representing inside of one mile to go the record seven hours 52 minutes and 39 seconds that is the world championship race record not the overall world record in the global series of races but now Jan Fredino looks set to possibly take that down. He's going to be a three-time Ironman world champion. And look at that. He wants it. He's thrusting that upper body. He's calling for every bit of energy coming out of those legs right now. He has muscles that are that sinewy. He's a very tall athlete. He stands 6'3 tall. And look at this guy going. He's overtaking some of the athletes just heading out in the first mile of the race where he's completing his 25th. He's inside of one mile to go right now. Two more right-hand turns. That would be Hualalai Road, Ali'i Drive, the famed finish line of this iconic race. Arguably the most grueling one-day sporting event in the world. Jan Fredino is now making his way to the finish line. Predictions have him coming in under 750 uh, with this pace he's currently running. And again, this is math, but the math we have show him at a 749. Uh, so taking two, three minutes off of that course record. And again, this is not something that he probably started thinking about at the beginning of the day. The, the, the goal, get back, be competitive, go for the win then, and then once you're in this uh, final stretch, you can start to realize, wait a second, this is mine. People will yell it to him. He's looked at his watch, but this, I'm predicting a 750 or, or a kick under uh, based on what he's doing right now. I've sat down with Jan Fredino before and I've asked him, you know, Jan, at 38 years of age, you know, what makes you tick? And he goes, Greg, I love the sport. I've done whatever, you know, you need to do in the sport, but I love to keep on doing it and pushing myself. He has a hashtag and it is hashtag because I can. And today, if he breaks that world record, the world championship record right here in Kailua Kona, hashtag because I can, hashtag IMWC. Didi, look at that smile. <laughs> yeah, he's going to enjoy this. Uh, he knows how painful it was to be here last year, um, obviously physically because he had the injury, but also emotionally because he had to sit on the sidelines, and he is going to enjoy every moment of this. I'm calling if Jan Fredino gets across the line and he breaks that world record, he's going straight to the deck. And it's going to be a little bit of time before he gets up, but he will be met down there by Emma Snowsill. Emma Fredino, his beautiful wife, she's also an, a champion, an Olympic champion in the same year in 2008. And on Thursday night, Emma, his lovely wife, was inducted into the Australian 
Sports Hall of Fame. So this family has a great reputation of being incredible athletes. But Jan Fredino right now, he is the man of the hour inside of half a mile to go. He's seven minutes and 50 seconds up on Timothy O'Donnell in second place. So Fredino has really put the medal down, the pedal to the medal. He's turning right, Huala Line Road, a quarter of a mile to go. He's trying to take the inside line. He knows he's on world championship record pace. And look at that, overtaking those age group athletes as he makes his way down to the last right-hand turn. Right turn onto a leaky drive, and that's it for the day. That's it. Uh, we're looking at it uh, right here. It is. Uh, this is the moment, Hawaii. This is the hot corner on the run. This is the second time he's run this stretch, and that fabled stretch of a leaky drive is just around that next corner. TD, Michael, give us your honest opinion. Did you think on a day today with wind and the very, very hard conditions up in Harvey that somebody could break seven hours and 52 minutes? I did not think the course record would go down today when we saw the, the swell in the swim today. Uh, we saw the winds up in Javi. Uh, we know how humid it's been all week. Uh, I did not think that record was in jeopardy. I, 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 I did, but not all day long. You know when I thought it was when he rode away at the airport, when he dropped everyone and distanced himself from everyone, that was when I said this man came here to make his mark. Uh, so right now chasing down nobody up the road except for uh, Island Breeze and the celebratory uh, torch. But this, folks, that torch runner is going to have a heart attack. Yeah, he's going he's to earn his money today, uh, especially with bare feet as he makes his way down a Lee Drive right now. Jan Fredino is going to soak it up here at 38 years of old age at the 2008 Olympic Games he was first place collecting the gold medal that was one of the things that he wanted to strike off his list another thing that he wanted to strike off was an Ironman World Championship victory he did that in 2016 he came back sorry in 2015 he came back in 2016 and he was able to repeat as champion over the next two years, he suffered some injuries, a back injury in 2017. And then in 2018, after he won the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in Port Elizabeth, South Africa, he tore his sacrum and a stress fracture. He spent the most part of the winter out as an injured athlete, but he rebuilt himself and he now reinvented himself as the Ironman World Champion. Jan Fredino today was one of our early swim leaders. He dominated the final part of the bike ride and on the marathon, he was simply brilliant. Today, he's going to bring it home for his third Ironman World Championship victory and now creating his as the first German athlete to win three Ironman World Championships, the 2019 Ironman World Champion, the Vega Ironman World Champion is Jan Fredino of Germany, and along the way, he has taken the World Championship record. record comes down today seven hours and 51 minutes we'll wait for the official time to come in there he goes getting the championship wreath going over the head there Jan Fredino once again the champion and a new run course record no not a run course record but a new championship record with a time of two hours 42 minutes and 43 seconds Emma Fredino also just meeting him at the finish line here inducted into the Australian Sports Hall of Fame two nights ago joins him at the finish line now being met by his agent that is Felix Rudiger but this is what they've been training for for a very long time <laughs> I think we just have to spend a little time embracing what they've got down there and hear this travels with his massage therapist right there from Spain. He lives in Girona, Spain. He hails from Germany. He lives in Australia as well. And there we go. We knew he was going to hit the deck. He has given it a monumental effort today. Jan Fredino was nothing simply short of brilliant as we go down and take a listen to Mike Riley, who's joining Jan Fredino in just a few moments for his post-race interview here today. But Fredino here, he now will be under drug protocol. Anti-doping is right here on the spot. So Jan Fredino, absolutely exhausted in a great race today, the 2019 Vega 
Iron Man World Champions in a new championship winning time of 7 hours and 51 and change. I'll tell you what, you looked relaxed watching you today, but on the inside, we could kind of tell, you know, after two years of pushing, pushing through it, it and, and not being right, right here, and all of a sudden you're back. It's got to be one heck of a feeling. Honestly, I mean, this last week has been, uh, it's been such a roller coaster, and thank you all for reaching out. I got so many messages, and it just made me realize that for all the nerves and all the hard work, Oh, it's just the best feeling to be out here in great shape to be able to actually somehow for a minute or two be able to appreciate it. And then more and more people shout, oh, you've got to get, you got to get the time. I'm like, bloody time, leave me alone. I just want to finish. I just want to enjoy. So thank you all for shouting. I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, to be well, able to I come back and the, win a uh, race like this really and all of a sudden, today, uh, and, uh, let's go break back your down countryman's Dubai. course record. You probably didn't think that was going to happen. Honestly, um, I, I, honestly, I don't care about the record. It's fantastic, but we all know it was a great day. Um, two years in a row of fast, fast times, and it's the championship. It's the it's the Wimbledon of our sport. It's the greatest feeling in the world. And you know, after walking here two years ago, it's a bloody good feeling to run four minute k's. <laughs> Well, Jan, you're an amazing champion, and this Kona crowd, you got to love them out there, huh? They are amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it's such a unique finish line. I mean, you're out there in the energy lab by yourself, strutting it out and trying to not look in your competitor's eyes, and really, all you're doing is waiting for that, for the little Alihi drive descent, which is probably the hardest 500 meters in our sport is the descent down Alihi. My legs have shattered, so yeah, thanks for shouting me to the line, and uh, thanks for being here, you're amazing. Well, Jan Ferdino, again, you are the Vega Ironman World Champion! Well, an average time of 6.09s on the run today per mile. It's sub 2.48 where he said I ran four minute case. Well, you're well under that today, Jan. You ran a 2.42. Good enough for a world championship winning time of just over seven hours and 51 minutes. But now, let's bring in the American Tim.